Hi everyone, so in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to do this really pretty border. Um, the border is suitable to go around any style of work, whether it's a blanket or whatever it is you've made. It's quite simple to do, but it looks really pretty and effective. So let's get started. So I'm going to be doing the border just around this old sample piece from one of my previous tutorials. So to start with you just want to attach your yarn somewhere along your work. doesn't really matter where. I'm just going to be using cream just for a nice contrast with the work that I've done. And I always like to tie my yarn up. But again, just attach the yarn however you prefer. And I've just gone through the top loops of one of the trebles so just insert your hook and pull up a loop and first of all you just want to start off by doing double crochets into each chain space all the way around your work. Now remember that's double crochet is the English term in the US that would be a single crochet. So you're just going to single crochet around all of your work. So to do that so you just want to start off by securing that chain, so just to chain one and then I'm going to go into the top of the next treble so I'm catching both of the loops on there and I'm going to yarn over and pull up and then I'm going to yarn over and pull through both loops and that is a double crochet, again single in the US. Then I'm going to do the exact same thing in the next and the next and I'm just going to work all my way around the edge of my whole piece. I'm just going to stick with you for now until we get to the corner just so you can see what you need to do in the corner. So just continue to do doubles all the way around just into the top loops. Obviously it's quite nice on the using the top of a treble to be able to do it but you we'll see it is slightly different as we get round onto this side as to where to place your doubles. So I'm at the corner now and because we don't want the corner of your work to start curling up or not lying flat you want to make sure that you do at least three double crochets into your corner stitches. So I'm going to put one, oops, two, and three all into that same corner space. Now as I work my way back down the edge obviously you can see I haven't got the tops of any trebles to be working into so it is a little bit more tricky to do them when you're working on a piece of work like this but as long as you try and evenly space out your doubles you can pretty much just go anywhere that you like and because there's only one row of stitches I'm actually going to just double crochet over the top of the whole thing because it's going to line up against the cream anyway. So as long as you're spacing them out pretty evenly you can just continue to do your doubles all the way around your work and I will meet you back once you've done your double crochets all the way around your work. Okay so I've gone all the way around my sample piece now just doing double crochet and um, so I've done it all the way around and then I just slip stitched into the top of the very first double crochet that I did just to finish off. Now you could change colour again here if you wanted to um, back to one of the contrasting colours that you've used in your work but I'm just going to stick with the cream just for the tutorial. So now we're going to start the next bit so we've done our row of double crochet and now we're going to create the, I never know how to pronounce this so excuse me if it's wrong but I always call it the peacock edging so it's just like a little triple, almost like a little triple leaf and then you've got these chains in between so again it would look really nice if you used a contrasting colour but it also looks really pretty all in the same colour. I'm going to chain five so one, two, three four and five and then you're going to 
go back into the top of the double crochet that you've just come out from. So you want to insert your hook back into the top of that double crochet just here. And you go into yarn over and do a double crochet. But remember, double crochet UK terms, single crochet US terms. And then you want to chain five again. Two, three, four, five. And then you're going to go back into that same space again and yarn over and double and chain five. And go back into the same chain space and yarn over and pull through both for a double. And then you want to move along your work to where you're going to do your next one and you're going to do that by chaining four. So one, two, three and four. And then you want to skip the next five stitches and work into your sixth one. So one, two, three, four and five. And then this is my sixth one here. So you want to slip stitch into there and then you're going to create your next picot over here. So we've done our first one there and then we're going to do our next one the same way. So you're going to chain five, four, five and then you want to insert your hook back into the top of that double that you slip stitched into and you're going to do a double again and then you're going to chain five and go back into that same space again and double and then chain five and back into the same one. Excuse me, that was the sound of my elbow cracking. <laughs> and then double. So we've created our first two now and we're going to move along again by chaining four. Now because I'm at the corner here, um, I never like to skip five and do it into the sixth stitch because it always seems to pull it across a little bit too far and it never sits just as nicely as I would like it to. Um, so I only skip four stitches when I'm working around the corner. So one, two, three, four, and then I'm going to work into the fifth stitch over here. So again you're just going to slip stitch and I'm going to create my next picot again in the exact same way two, three, four, five and back into the same stitch and double one, two, three four and five and back into that same stitch and double again. So if you want to carry on working your way around your work and then I will meet you back just as you're getting towards the end and um, just to explain what you need to do obviously because it's very rare that you have the perfect amount of stitches to space them all perfectly evenly as you go. Um, so I'll meet you back towards the end just to explain what you would need to do if you are short on a few stitches as you get towards the end. So I'm just coming to the end of this now. I've just done my last one just here. And I've actually got um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I've got 10 stitches left. Now obviously, ideally I would have 12, um, but because I've only got 10, instead of skipping six stitches, um, I'm just going to skip and work into the fifth chain and do my picot again, and then I will chain four and just work my way back to where we started here. So you can usually balance it out and obviously if you worked out that you're going to have 14 stitches left then just try and shorten up the one before on here as well and it will generally even itself out. So I'm just going to do my last one here now into the one, two, three, four and the fifth stitch just here and I'm going to work my last picot here. So one, two, 
two, three, four, five. Oops. Five. And then I will finish. Oops. Didn't do very well with that one. And um, I'll finish by chaining four. And then I'm just going to slip stitch into where I started from at the beginning of the round. So I'm just going to insert my hook into the very beginning of this one here. And I'm going to slip stitch. And then to finish off, I'm going to just yarn over and snip off. And that's it. I mean, obviously, because it's such a small piece that I've worked around, it does look a little bit busy. But obviously, on a on a larger piece of work, it would look really beautiful. Just try and flatten it out a little bit for you to see. But it's a really lovely and simple to do border that just gives a nice effect. And again, it would be really nice to use a contrasting yarn to do the p cuts at the top um, from what you used for your double or single crochet starting point. Um, I really hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial and if you have just give me a quick thumbs up and remember to subscribe for all of my future videos. But thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.